Alright, good morning guys. Um so let me see, I'm trying to get as many people in here as possible. What am I missing? Just end here. Alright, I think that's it. Uh, everybody else usually doesn't show up anyway. Um, hopefully you guys can hear me. You guys can hear me? Let's see if my audio is set up. Yeah, it's set up. Right. Let me see the text channel. Can you guys hear me? Before I start uh, talking. Yes, you guys are probably saying something then. Maybe my settings are messed up. <laughs> okay, there you go. All right. So you guys can hear me? Yes. Awesome. All right. Sorry about yes, that. Yes, sir. My setting was messed up in the in the Discord. So uh, hopefully everybody's having a good uh, weekend, good start to the week. If you're a Cowboy fan, I apologize that you have just lost your quarterback for the year. Uh, uh, that sucks. Um, if you're not a sports fan and you don't understand any of these sports analogies, think about Fortnite. All right. Uh, this week, um, I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, we've got, uh, we're going to start ramping up everything. Everything's about to get kind of accelerated for you guys. I'm about to kind of lay a bunch of stuff on you guys as to how uh, the rest of the class is going to be structured. It's pretty much the same, but now you're going to know um, all the work that you need to do and you can uh, attack it however you uh, feel right and um, that's how we're gonna work um, so if you guys um, I've been looking through your threads and um, some of you guys are understanding and some of you guys aren't uh, understanding some of this stuff so um, you know that's okay that's how that's how the process works uh, in the sense that you know you're you're just gonna have to keep just working on it and doing the work right and then as you work it as you're working it right little things will start to to be more apparent to you and you'll start to understand different things as to why uh, they happen but you've got to put that time in and if you're not going to put that time in, you're really not going to understand this stuff so uh, i implore you guys to you know just put some more time into the into the software put you know dedicate some time the time that you would be using to do you know other active you're playing a video game that 15 20 30 minutes that you're using to play that video game or whatever you're doing you could be using it to really study and get better at this stuff so i see all that to say um uh, we're moving on from the coin uh the coin is done that was your little starter your little intro now we're in it right like you guys are about to get uh what the rest of the assignment is or the re for the rest of class and um you know uh, we will we'll, we'll see where the cards lay at the end uh, of everything so um, now I'm gonna go let's go into the uh, assignments the due date the due assignment so uh, you've you've done this guy hi Polly so the for the rest of class uh, your two main assignments your two main projects right are the high poly low poly and texturing of these two barrels i have tutorials for both uh on my youtube channel that you guys can watch and uh throughout the class as you guys are working on them um you guys can um you know ask me questions or you know but you have to these are the two assets that you need to understand and texture and get to a really good quality uh um for the for your for your main two grades right these these two uh, are going to show me that you've mastered the the techniques of high polying, uh, low polying, and texturing. 
All right, so that's what these two projects are. So uh, I don't care which one you start on first. You can start on the crate or you can start on the barrel. It does, it, honestly, it's, it's up to you. Whichever you find uh, easier, do you find it easier to start making a box or do you find it easier to start making a cylinder, right? But you have to go through the entire uh, process, the entire high poly, low poly, and texturing process. All right, so uh, that's your, those are your two uh, main assignments that you guys have to work on and in your you know uh, class threads this is where you guys are gonna put them so you're gonna put them in your student thread so you're gonna post in here so uh, you know okay this is what this is where I am with I'm starting with the crate or I'm starting with the barrel this is where I am with my barrel or this is where I am with my crate you know you finish that one then you then you can move on right you do, you know, high poly, low poly texture. That, that entire process, that's what you're responsible for. High poly, low poly, and texture. All right, so now that you know, you, you can attack it however you want. I'm just going to be looking in your threads for updates as to how you guys are working. Does anybody have any questions about those two main uh, projects that you guys have? No questions? All right. So... For our classes, though, um, we are collectively together going to be working on. Um, we're going to be working on. Where's the assignments? We're going to be working on this uh, this level. We're going to be trying to recreate this, right? That's why we started with the coin. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, throughout all these classes, I'm going to be showing you how I would make all of these little these little shapes that we have here. Like everything that we have in this scene, we're going to make and we're going to recreate and we're going to render it out and it's going to look cool and we'll have it as uh, something to to kind of work together on. All right. So, uh, you know, I'll show you how to make every all these little, you know, the little goobas, the, these little dudes and, you know, the bell and the umbrella and stuff as we're going through class. And um, you guys, th those will be the, the dailies for you. Like so you guys will be, you know, whatever we worked on in class, you guys will be responsible for that at home. Do that as well. Post it on your uh, thread. So that's how uh, this is going to work. So this is our class together project in the crepe barrel and that's for, that's your main um, art assignments um, and if you guys need help with that you know I can show some demos or whatever but for the most part those tutorials are already online for you guys you guys can go watch them and uh, and complete that all right so does anybody have any questions about this before I dive into this because this is how the classes are going to be run I'm still going to be checking your threads in the morning that's going to be first thing and then the next thing is we're going to dive into this guy and we're going to you know make as many of these as we can until we uh, complete them we might do like one a day um, you know you guys just to make that one coin right like think about how long it took you guys so uh, you guys should be a lot faster now to make any of these little things and um, yeah that's that's gonna be the idea you know is to show you guys how you know you would go about making these things um, does anybody have any questions comments concerns have I scared anyone yet if you're not scared uh, if you're scared go to church I guess is the, is the term but if not uh, we can dive in does anybody have any questions for me nope. I have a question okay Coin. Mm -hmm. uh, when I tried baking it, my high poly didn't bake onto my poly, so bake looked all. Okay, let me see. Where's your thread? Did you post it in your thread? Yeah. This is yours? Yeah. Okay, um. That's because your high poly should not be in there. No, I did that separately to show what it looked like. I was just trying to make sure it oh, okay. was supposed to look. Okay, this is the low poly. Did you go to the bake mesh, bake mesh maps, and do all mm -hmm. those, do, do all those steps? So what mm -hmm. you might want to do is you might want to check your ray distances, um, and uh, and see if that's what it is. What I can do is after class, uh, we can I, you can share your screen with me, and I can walk you through uh, walk you through that process. Well, I'm on. Oh, you at work? 
What would you say, Eddie? Yeah. Your work. Okay. Okay. Um. Well, at the end of class, I can show you how I would go through it in Substance Painter. I would just go through it for okay. you real quick in Substance Painter. All right. All right, no problem. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, the, I'm, we're moving on from the coin. The coin um, was just your warm up, right? Like you guys still need to finish it uh, so that you can get your grade for it. But um, we're moving on to a different model now. Um, just because you know artists get fatigue. If you look at the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over again, you're gonna get tired, and you you know you're not gonna be as enthused to work on it. So. Um, yeah, that's that's yeah. that's gonna be it. All right, uh, let's uh, let's move on. So let's let's look at what everybody has so far, and then we'll we'll go. So yeah, uh, post Gael whenever you get a chance. You too, Elmer. Um, you know, I can stay after class to see what's going on with yours, and we can troubleshoot it. Um, yeah, yeah, we need to f yeah up update. Uh, update, update, update. Let me get an update. I just updated you. Let me get an update. Let me get an update. Please update, update, and update, and super update. All right. So, um, yeah, we're moving on from the the coin. All right. Uh, let me close that out. Okay, so I've done a few of these as a starter, but um, I've done a few of these as a starter, and you'll be able to see them here in a second, but I'm going to go over how I modeled, or how I would go modeling maybe the bell, or uh, let's see, maybe these little daisies, these little daisies, all right, um, so I have gone around and modeled these. And I have a, you know, I've made a tutorial for them, so I'll upload those so you guys can watch that as to how to make these guys, right? These are like my little, my little demos, and then this tube. And if you guys look inside of the assignment folder, I've also posted these as references in there. So you guys can go and download the exact same reference that I have, right? It's all in here for you. Right, just open the original and download it, and you can use those as your reference plane. So we're all working from the same thing. All right, so we're gonna model a few of these these things, and um, uh, we're gonna continue from there. Because eventually, what we're gonna have for the class is everybody's gonna bring all their models together, and we're gonna try to line them up as you know close to this as we possibly can, or even make our own uh, make our own scene. Uh, of these these little things and you know make a, a cool little level out of it right like and I think that would be the the coolest thing we could we could really do with a project like this is have you guys make all these pieces and kind of make your own little level uh, inside of uh, 3ds max that you can render and say hey this is all 3d you know so uh, that's 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 pretty cool so um, let's go ahead and um, let's start making one of these little these little daisies all right so I would just zoom in and I would find like one that's you know kind of isolated by itself and I would make all the basic shapes so it's obviously a cylinder all right it's obviously a cylinder it's centered and I'm gonna grab a line and then boop just like that. I'm just gonna make it a, give it a little bend, and then right click, uh, and that stops the drawing of the line. All right. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to make this leaf, and I'm still gonna. I could use a, a box. I could use a plane to make it, or I can draw it out in spline. So let me show you what I mean by that. So there's a few different ways that you can approach this. So I can do this, right? Make out my Shape like that, and I can close the spline and then worry about the geo inside. But I don't want to do that, that's going to be a long winded process. What I can do is I can just make a plane, 
and I'm going to use my plane as my poly modeling surface. So it's got all these lines and length, length and width seg segments in between, and I'm just going to take them off. And then I'm going to right click it and I'm going to convert it to an editable poly. Hit one on the keyboard, select that guy, move that guy up like so. All right. So if I hit two on my keyboard, if I hit two on my keyboard, I can select this edge and then shift, drag out. And if I hit R, I can scale this guy in and I can just kind of kind of do that where I so now like remember I can do also do Alt Y. If you can't see what it's doing is it's adding uh, this little loop for me. So I can add a little loop right there and I'm going to add one right there for the point of it. So I'm just going to do F, go back to the front view, hit one on the keyboard to go to my vert mode bring this guy out like so right i'm matching the silhouette of this leaf with just these polys just like that right i'm gonna hit alt y again hit two alt and y you guys can't see it probably, but it's like right there. Alright, so. Right, this way I'm the one controlling the edge flow of my object. Alright. This is going to be my, uh, my center stem. guy down so it's like a little little leaf little leafy all right got a little leaf right there all right so this is just a, a base outline of the leaf um, as you can see it's got this little you can see based on this little dark it's got a little split right down the middle right like a leaf it's got the stem piece uh, we'll deal with that here in a second, but you know, look, look, we can select our line and then we'll just in this rendering panel right here. So if you go into your line, your modify panel, and you look right here, you want to enable it in the renderer. And you want to enable it in the viewport. What that does is it makes it like a, a 3D object that you can see. So now I just want to uh, let's go back to the front view. What I want to do is now reduce the thickness a little bit just maybe move it over a little bit um, and the beauty is you know I can still you know kind of bend it how I want you know if I want different kind of leaves or different kind of flowers I still have the opportunity to make them different because you could as you can see you know this one's a little taller and leanier and this guy's like that and this guy's squished and squashed and and different things like that so uh, we can still have that ability if we make it aligned to kind of you know have ourselves some fun with this guy so I'm just gonna pull this guy uh, further up and um, Let's pull this guy out like so. Let's hit F on the keyboard. And uh, let's see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, since it's 20, let's make it 20 sides. No, 24. Yeah. All right. And then I'm going to convert it to an editable poly. Select this guy. Control I. I'm going to delete that. So let me show you what I did. So I selected this guy. Hit Control and I. It selects the inverse. And then I just delete it. Just like that. And then I hit F. Go back into my front view. If I hit Alt and X, it's going to X-ray it for me, right? It's going to send it to X-ray mode. So I can see through it to my model and see what's going on. 
So now I can select all my sh little my little shapes, hit R on the keyboard, and then just scale them out on the x-axis, just like that. All right, maybe pull this guy down a little bit, scale it out just a little bit till it encompasses the entire uh, our entire little sunflower here. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to because these you can tell they're very like rounded like that and then it's rounded again and then it's rounded again to go inside. So we're going to do just that. So we're going to do uh, uh, let's do an inset. The first inset is this guy right here. All right. And then we're going to hit plus. It's going to do another inset. It's going to bring this guy in about right there. And this is where the little eyes are. And uh, we're going to do one more inset, actually. All right. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is then I'm just going to select this outer edge. And then... Actually, let's see. How do I want to do this? Okay, so I'm going to select these two. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to extrude. Turn on those extrude options, zero it out. And then I'm going to bring them in. And then just extend them out like so. So now we're getting that, uh, that softer transition that we're looking for. Hit that like so. I'm going to select this inside one. And then I'm going to hit turbo, turn on the turbo smooth on this guy. So now if we all X, we can see what it's looking like. All right. We're starting to get uh, the, the shape we want. or Yeah, the shape we want. So what I like to do sometimes is I like to do, use to model with the materials so that I'm getting a sense of what's really going on uh, as I'm working. So I can just make a, a physical, a standard physical material. And what I do is I'll just select the um, this color picker, and I can pick the colors on there. So I'm going to make this yellow. I'm going to make this the red. And then I'm going to hold down shift drag. I'm going to make this guy the white. And then I'm going to make this guy the leaf green and then the stem green. All right. So now I can just start adding all my little modeling materials to these guys. So let's start with the stem green leaf green and in here what I can do is in my uh, in my edit poly if I select this let's see let's hit F4 so you guys can see so if I select this guy hold shift you see that it highlights it yellow you probably can't see that very well let's make this gray okay so if I hold down shift right Hold down shift and I hover over the next polygon over it. It says, hey, do you want to select this guy as a ring? Yes, I do. Right? And I can grow that ring and I can assign my red to just that guy. Right? And then I can select this inner guy, hit grow again. So it grows my uh, my selection, and then I can add my yellow to it. And then I can select this inner guy, grow it again, and then I can add my white. All right. 
So now if we turn on Turbo Smooth, we can see what our guy's looking like. So this is our flower. So we've made ourselves a little sunflower. The next thing we need to make now is our little eyes. Our wee little eyes. Let's see. So one thing we can do is we can have these eyes be inset into it or we can float them on. So let's see if I have the geo to do that. Okay, so what I'm, I want to do is I want to just pull this guy out a little bit like so. Just to help this transition. You see how that's a little, just a little bit rounder now right there. I'm getting this, this pull. You can see that right here because, right, I'm trying to tell you guys, I don't have these guys welded, so... There's no transition, so it's just saying, oh my god, I don't know what to do. What, do you, what does this guy want me to do with these polys? And it, you know, it's trying to triangulate, and it's giving us that weird uh, pull. But I can fix that just by uh, connecting these polys right here. So the easiest way for me to do that, I'll just select this guy, hit delete, select this inner edge, hit R on the keyboard and then I can do it like that and then control select so I can select the uh, so I can select the the verts scale them in right click it and weld so Let's do, yep, so welded everything, and then just hit check. Now, right now that's the topology we're getting. You see how it's not that, that weird, uh, weird, uh, weird shape anymore. So, let's see, let's hit right there. All right, so now we've got ourselves our flower. But he's missing his eyes. So let's throw in some eyes in here. So the, the cool thing is we already kind of made ourselves some eyes. So let's hit Alt X on the keyboard and find where the eyes are right there. So they're right there and right there. So they're technically these guys right here. So we can do something like this, where we inset. Hmm. Yeah, let's inset it. I'm trying to see if it looks better as an inset or Do an extrude. And if I hold down shift, I can drag this guy out like, like so. Right, I'm going to drag it into the element. And then select these guys as a border. Let me show you what I'm doing. So then I'm going to alt, just shift drag to create those polys. Like so. Then I can make these, this guy, the black. So no, it's just black. So. so All right. Nope. All right. Let's turn on Turbo Smooth. Just like that. All 
Okay, so another thing I want is I want these to be a little more kind of squared off. So um, I'm going to add some polygons to this guy. So right now they're kind of poking out. Select these guys. Let's pull these eyes back in a little bit. And then we're going to add... Hmm, do I want it up or to the side? Let's add Alt Y. So I'm going to add one right here and right here. I just don't want it to flatten it out too much. Okay, it doesn't do that bad. It's not that bad. Yeah, that's the problem. It flattens it out. So let's do one. Okay, so another technique is select these guys, control click, control click. Control click, control click, and then right click and chamfer. When that does would be like this. This guy's got a little more expression. But you're still you're getting these weird pinches in there and don't really dig that. Okay, maybe we can do this. Let's ring this this way. Right click. And then connect. Let's do two. Check. Alt select these guys down here. Control backspace to remove those extra ones. Let's see what it does. All right, that's a lot better. All right, yeah. All right, I'll just terminate those edges and we'll be fine. And I need to do the same for the eyes. So right there, select that, and then ring, right click, connect, same way, just so that it's gonna have the same kind of form. And yep, just like that. And now I can go back, hit one on the keyboard, right click, target weld, that way, that way, that way, that way, that way. Right, and I can symmetry this, but it's only like four, so let's throw in the symmetry modifier. It will take too long when I can just right click and weld these guys. All right, so now we turbo smith. We get something a little more squared off. There we go. It's a little sadder, too. It looks a little sadder, and I like that. Very sad. All right. So now we've got our little fire. We just need to add a back to it. So for the back, I don't really know what the back looks like. So I'm just going to select this guy. Boop. Select like that. And then kind of close, start closing it off. Because I imagine it's like, it's like a cup or something. So if I, if I turned it around, I'd imagine it would be something like this. Or... I'm just gonna right click it, collapse it, hit two on the keyboard, then cham for this. Hit two, three, Something like this is what I would imagine 
going into. Maybe it would have like a diff, like, maybe it would have this lip would be like, you know, I take this and then I chamfer this as well. Right? This is what I would imagine it looks like in the back. Because I really don't know. I don't have any images of what it looks like in the back. So this is my interpretation of uh, what, what's going on back there. And yeah, the rest of this stuff would be... Um, so if I select this guy right here. Control, boom, like that. Grow, 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 grow. I'm going to make this guy red. So let's unhide all again, all right? And now we've got ourselves the top. That's still got a little bit of a, let me see what it looks like when I champ for this. Okay, I know what's happening. I think I might have created an extra edge here. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I definitely did. All right, so that's fixed. And now it looks a lot better. Because we need the stem to be able to fit up under here. So we need this stem to be able to fit right under there. So we might need to even bring this guy out a little more. I need to bring this guy out a little more. All right, so I can all exit to see the x-ray and see where it fits in there. Maybe bring this guy down a little bit. I don't like how this is guy's working, so I'm just gonna that so I can just jam it right in there All right so alt X no nope, no need no need now let's bring this right back out All right, jammed it in there alright so now we just need to make ourselves a leaf unhide all what I'm gonna do is now Let's turn on, let's throw a shell modifier on this guy. I'm gonna throw a shell modifier. Now it's gonna give it a little bit of thickness. So now if I select this guy like so. Shell, let's reduce this like 0.5 or something. And now if I throw a turbo smooth on this, you guys will see why. All right, so it smooths it all out. You see, that, you know, got a nice looking leaf here. So under this uh, shell modifier, we're gonna throw an edit poly modifier on this. So now we've got our lines here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select I'm gonna, I turn this off, so like, if I turn this on and I turn on Turbo Smooth, this guy, this little, uh, this looks like a, an experiment glass or whatever. If you turn it on, it toggles on and off the layer above it. So I can see the results from this layer on this current layer, or I can turn it off and have what the actual uh, modifier is doing to the object. So uh, with this, I'm just gonna select this guy right here. 
Do I want to do it that way? I think this guy's enough. I'm gonna select these two. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna extrude this guy. So I'm gonna bring this guy in like so, and then do something like that. And then I'm gonna turn on this turbo smooth and see what it's doing to it. So it's giving me some of that action that I'm looking for. So I might wanna just, so what I can do is actually just select these guys, do my extrude again, boom. And what I can do is I can turn this on to see what it's doing as an end result. So I can bring this in a little tighter Right, and then bring this up just a little more. Just like that. So now our leaf has kind of like a the stem the stem looking look. So what I can do now is I'm gonna shape this, right? This is still like a basic kind of leaf. Let's unhide all. And what it's missing is that that glorious kind of bend that it has. It's got like this little bend, like, hey, I'm happy. So we're going to add that bend to it. Let's add this bend right now. So uh, there is a bend modifier, actually. There's actually a bend modifier that you can throw on. But I don't want to use the bend modifier. Watch. It's like it does. It, it'll do what we need. So I think we need to we would need to set it to 90 and then the angle should be X Z it's probably Y yeah so we can do something like this to give it like you know kind of like a leafy like a leafy look all right we can do something like that but this doesn't give you as much control as I would like. So um, what I like to do is I throw on what they call an FFD modifier. So I throw on an FFD modifier. I throw an FFD 4x4x4 modifier. And um, you can then bend, grab these points, and it acts like an overall... Uh, modifier that you can then yourself use so I can then you know bring these in like so so my leaf is nice and tucked in there All right and I can select these center ones and then kind of puff them out a little bit so I'm getting more of uh, that leafy kind of shape so it's more cartoony All right, I don't want the, the 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 computer to determine my artwork I'm the one determining how I want the shape of this uh, this leaf to look. And now that I've got my first leaf, I can just uh, mirror it on the other side. I want to mirror it on the x-axis, but I want to make it a copy because I'm going to do something different to the leaf itself. So I'm going to select this and this leaf. Uh, I'm going to just maybe bring this guy out like so or something. And bring this guy in. All right, maybe puff this guy out a little more. Or even, you know, here we go. Get a little, get a little different with it. All right, so it's similar, but a, still a little different. So it's got a little variation. And we can even do the same with the stem uh, as well. So now if I hit F4, we've got ourselves a little sunflower. All right. So that's what you guys are going to be responsible for today. Um, I'm going to post this video online here in a bit. 
and this is what you guys are going to do for today and turn in um you know however you want to this is going to be due next class all right does anybody have any questions as we continue to complete this uh this tapestry known as mario so you know at the end of it you know we can we're going to be able to group these together and then make ourselves a little little you know make ourselves a little field of them next class um let's see what are we going to tackle let's see i might tackle one of these guys because they're like a bigger piece maybe this guy and this guy we'll see maybe even the bell we've got a little time i can do you guys want to just work on this one or do you guys want me to not uh, show you guys how to do another one you guys decide let me know i'm down you guys are down for another one all right I can show you guys, let me show you guys the quickest one I think I can show. I can show you guys how to make this little mushroom guy right here. All right, so we've made this guy, we're moving on along. And I've got these tutorials as well that I'm gonna upload. So you guys, you know, at your own leisure, kind of work on these and turn these in. And you know, uh, I've got this guy. This guy's super easy to make. The video shouldn't be more than like 20 minutes to do. All right, so let's work on this little this little shroom looking dude right here. All right, this is probably like one of the easiest ones, right? Like just because you guys know how to make this already. Like it's pretty much a box. But instead of a box, guys, like let's use. Hmm. See, this is tricky because. We can use both a uh, chamfer box, right? We can do a, a, get a chamfer box out here. Do like that, and then so we can increase the fillet on it. So let's and then we can definitely do something like that, or we can start off with a box. So let's just let's do that. So I'm going to do a box, something along those lines. Hit F on the keyboard, and I'm going to right click, and I'm going to convert it to an editable poly. And because it's a mushroom, you can see that it's got another kind of piece like right there. So I'm going to just go underneath it, right click it. I'm going to select, see I selected this, uh, this bottom piece. I'm going to right click it. I'm going to inset. All right, so now I've got the mushroom head, and now I'm gonna create the base of the mushroom. I'm gonna just, uh, actually, I'm gonna bevel it so that it's it's got more of, uh, yeah, just like that. So if I hit F on the keyboard, it looks very boxy right now, but I'm gonna fix all of that in just a second. So we're gonna hit check right there to make sure that uh, we've got our, um, are shaping and the next thing I want to do is let's see how this is gonna work so let me actually add another edit poly modifier to this I'm gonna select these middle ones right click it and then hit connect so I'm gonna hit one two three four I think I need five yeah six is good six is good six is a good number so what I want to do is I want to make the silhouette of this uh, mushroom. So I'm just going to start dragging. So let me hit F4 so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm dragging these verts up slowly but surely. All right. So just like that. And then I can do the same thing this way. I'm going to hit, I'm going to ring it. Right, if, you know, you guys know mine is set to the right uh, right arrow on my keyboard. So that's what I did. I ringed it, right click it, and then I'm going to connect. But I'm not going to do six this time. I'm going to do. Hmm. Yeah, let's do two. I 
select that um, that owl from the Tootsie Roll commercial. Two. How many licks does it take to you get to the center of the Tootsie Pop? So I'm gonna hit T on the keyboard. Go into my top view. W. Select these guys. Hit R on my keyboard. I'm just gonna pull these guys out. So let's actually hit F3 to see. And I want to actually select all of these guys all the way down to the bottom. And then I'm going to scale it out this way a little bit so we're getting a little more of a plump looking mushroom. All right. So now let's see what we do, what happens when we turn on the Turbo Smooth. All right. Look at that. All right. So we're getting that base outline shape of it. Right, we're, we're getting that. So what I might want to do is I might want to add a little poly right here to harden that edge. So I might want to just go into my edge mode, hit Alt Y for my Swift Loop. You guys know Swift Loop is right here, so don't say he didn't show you the granny way to do it. So I'm just going to hit Alt Y on my keyboard. If it'll work, don't make me look bad. All right, there we go. All right, so now I'm just going to add one like I don't want it to be too close because then it's going to be too too intense, but I want it to be like right there. That's good. So now if I turn on, you can see that what it's doing is it's giving us that same shape profile that we want from there. So the next thing I'm going to do is um, turn off this guy, right click, convert this guy to an editable poly because it collapses everything into it. The reason I want to do that is because I want to add these modeling materials and if you have uh, more than uh, one stack of Turbo Smooth on, it's not going to allow you to uh, do these different um, color groups that we're doing right now. So, uh, so if I try to add, like, let me show you what I'm talking about. Just because I know you guys are the show me, don't tell me kind of crew. So if I try to add this guy to it, it's going to add it to the entire thing. Like if I try to add just this, because I have this polygon selected, I want to add my material to this one polygon. It's going to add it to the whole thing. Well, that's because you've got stacks in here, right? And I don't want you guys to get confused and be like, well, he told us to use stacks and now the materials aren't working. No, that's not what's happening. What's happening is you've got this stack. So what you need to do is just right click it, convert it to an editable poly, right? That's effectively closing your stack. And now, if I just select all these polys that I want to affect, so if I select all these guys, and then boom, I can add that orange and everything else is still yellow, all right? So the reason is because after the fact is when we're gonna add our, uh, our turbo smooth. We're gonna add our turbo smooth after the fact and that's gonna be fine, just fine and dandy dandy yes fine and dandy all right so let me stop being weird and let me uh select this guy as well i'm just going to select this guy so we have that guy to use it's pretty close to that guy already so we might use that guy all right so let me just select this bottom guy I need to find a good spot because it's not okay. That's good. The the spot on it is actually a better place to select from because um, you're gonna get some weird shadow sh stuff going on. Oof, you're gonna get some weird shadow. So you want to always find like a clean place to kind of select from where you've got a, enough good pixels that it won't affect uh, the collection. Because you can see like this part's a little darker. So I try to find the most neutral-ish zone to represent uh, my color. So like if I'm trying to select this helmet. I'm looking for something that's like flat orange, not where the highlights are or where the shadows are, something like in the middle, right? Like, because these guys do a really good job at trying to separate the colors. So if you look a little closer, if you look a little over right here, you can see that his helmet's a little darker here. It's a little brighter here, right? That's part of the, the uh, building things with light 
kind of thing I'm trying to tell you guys because right there's a there's a spotlight right here so this part's a little brighter this part's a little darker it helps you differentiate those shapes and see those corners you can see that it's easier to see this shadow in this corner than it is on this side because this is where the light side is so this helps to contour the character helps to to define our shapes a little better right so this is just all part of of that so you know I just went into a long spiel about I'll get back to this uh, subject, but you guys know what I'm talking about right now. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get back into this. So now let's just select this guy right here, this bottom dude. And right now, I don't want to, you know, I want to select this whole bottom panel. And if I just do this, it selects that. If I do this, it selects the whole thing. What I can do, though, is I can select by angle, right? This is a little tidbit for you guys. I can select by angle, and I can select by any angle that I put in five degrees, 45 degree, anything at a 45 degree angle on a plane, it will select. Anything, you know, so that is how this works, right? If I put five degrees, it'll do five degrees, which everything is still five. If I do 90, right? So select by angle, that's what that does. So I want to just do five. And then I can select this bottom piece, just hit grow, grow, grow. And then I can add this other modeling piece to it, or this color texture thing that we added to it. And then we've got our mushroom. All right, so that took a little, that took, that, that's a lot faster than I expected it to be done. So let's just throw on this turbo smooth. Go select. Let's go. Hit M on the keyboard. There you guys. And then let's uh, let's throw this on. All right, here we go. So that's our little shroom. All right, so that's that little mushroom dude right there. So I've covered this guy and this guy. Uh, let's see, what other guy? What time is it? 1034? I think I can knock out one more. One more guy. Yeah. These clouds look kind of funny. Hmm. That cloud's going to be interesting to make. Hmm. Trying to think of what I can tackle. I don't know. Do you guys want me to do another one, or you guys think you guys can handle both of these? Okay. All right. So, um, yeah. So you guys have seen those. I'm going to post those up uh, in just a moment for you guys and uh, the rest of the Mario stuff. So I'm going to post these up as well. This guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. All this stuff. So by the end of class, you guys should have uh, all the pieces to build out a nice little Mario set for yourself. All right, so uh, that's going to be it for today's class. Um, this video is going to be up for you guys to watch as, as well as the other videos. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns right now before we end class.
None? Well, if you guys don't have any questions, uh, work on your stuff. Get them turned in. Your references are in uh, the assignment thread. Uh, remember that you guys need to get started on one of these as well, right? These are your two major projects for this class, right? These two right here are, are going to be worth a good chunk of your grades. So start watching those videos. Start, you know, modeling this stuff and uh, uh, we'll, we'll go from there. All right. Other than that, guys, have a good rest of your day. I look forward to seeing uh, you guys Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. All right, guys.